For this DIY video, I was asked to create a nice space at this corner right here that's gonna be used for a home office. So the first thing I thought of was to create a room divider and I'll be using pieces of wood of two by two and other wood pieces and help as well to make sure that I finished this on time. And another important reason why I needed them was for the heavy lifting. There is no way I can put this up by myself. So they helped me out. During the build of this room divider, all I did was to tell them exactly what I wanted, where I wanted it, and how it's supposed to be put together so that I do my part and they do their part. So we're all in sync. When the structure was built, it was then attached to the floor and to the ceiling too as well. After that, I went right ahead to paint the wood. I chose this color because I wanted it to go with a couch that's kind of close to it on the other side. For this newly created space, I added lighting. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm going to be using wooden blind to create an awesome design for this office space. And what I'm going to do is separate the wooden pieces and attach them to the wall and to the ceiling. Now, because I don't want the space between the pieces to be too much, I'm gonna use a small, tiny piece of wood as my guide to go in between the pieces as I am installing each and every one of them. Attaching these to the ceiling, I had to cut them to size using an angle cutter and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I use a strong adhesive and a nail gun to attach these to the ceiling. I did not have a longer ladder, unfortunately for me, so I had to use the one that I had to install the strips up on the ceiling. So I had to stretch my hand a couple of times, but it wasn't for too long because I did not install too much up on the ceiling. But yeah, it was kind of a struggle for me because I had to stretch my hands over and over till I got to the last strip. Here I'm using a pair of scissors to cut out exactly what I need is going to fit around the lighting. I had already put up canvases on the wall, but I want to do that again. And this time around, just changing the distance between them. This is an awesome shelf that's going to be carrying items in the mini home office. And it is a no assembly shelf, you guys. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. All I did was just click it in and that's it. I went ahead to install LED lights up on the ceiling. That's going to go all the way down to the floor. The lights made a whole new difference for this space in a futuristic way and I love it. The printer that you see right at the bottom is not going to be there. So I just put it there for now anyway, that's going to be taken out. At the end of the day, the home office space does not look like it's an obvious home office when you walk through the front door. Instead, it has a very appealing look. 
that I made sure was going to go together with the overall design in the home. I do have another idea using wooden blinds. All I'm going to be doing now is using my ruler in between the wooden pieces as my guide to give me accurate spacing, which has reduced the time that I would have used in measuring and calculating and spacing it out using either masking tape or any of those kind of stuff. I'm just going to be using a ruler in between to make my job a lot easier. This DIY is pretty straightforward, you guys. You just use a nail gun and keep arranging those slats in an orderly way till it's finished. The wooden slats that I used was just for one window, but it did cover a reasonable part of the wall. So now that I'm finishing up, I'll be adding some mirrors to the design. I'm going to mount these vertically, so I'm just going to be repositioning the hooks. I'm going to have three mirrors on the wall and some sort of shelving at the bottom. These are the crates that I have and the size is perfect so I'm just going to have them mounted here and here. That way I can have another long piece of wood on top of it that's going to serve as the shelving. I'm using the holes that was for the string that was on the blind as my guide. The whole idea here was to use these as some sort of storage, but because it's somewhere at the corridor, I don't think they will be too convenient. So after I had these mounted on, I was hitting myself on the head, saying that I should have just used brackets. I seriously would have just used wall brackets, but I decided to just cover it up so it would look like some sort of white cube shelf that will be on there. I mean, I have a lot of these crates, so I'm not going to regret losing two. So I just went ahead to make it into a long white kind of shelving. And so far, so good. This is what it looks like. I'll be putting a beautiful glass vase at the top in the middle and of course I'm gonna have to secure it so that in case anyone bumps into it it won't fall so I'll be holding the vase down with command strips I don't really like the part of the shelf that's extended out, so I'm going to be using something that I've had for a while that I use for another project. Here's the overall look of what this space now looks like after the wooden slats have been used on the wall. This is what it used to look like before, but then now with wooden slats from a window blind, 
This is what I have now on the wall. If we hold ourselves together. This is when you have lights inside of the box that I had put in the middle of what I made. I had so much fun making this and I hope you all enjoy this video as well. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.